What's up, dog? This week we keeping it together with Things Fall Apart by Chinwe Achebe. Okonkwo got one of the illest reps of any hood in the Nigerian Umofia clan. But being a high baller don't run in the family. Everybody know that Okonkwo's daddy was nothing but a broke ass scrub. And now Okonkwo gotta be a hard ass hustler to shake off that family shame. When some fool mercs a dame from Umofia, Okonkwo gotta take care of his boy Akimafuna to make everything cool between the clans. Okonkwo got mad love for this kid, even though he don't show it. And it ain't long before Akimafuna starts calling Okonkwo daddy. Then one day the oracle say that fool Akimafuna gotta get put in dirt. Some geezer named Izudu tells Okonkwo he best stay away from that mess, cause no matter how much of a badass thug you are, killing your own son is whack. But Okonkwo don't want to be seen as no sensitive bitch, so he straps up ready to bang out. When Akimafuna cries, little help pops, Okonkwo ends that fool. And for the next few days, Okonkwo all torn up. It gets even more cray for Okonkwo during his boy Izudu's funeral. During a salute, Okonkwo's gad accidentally busts a cat in Izudu's son. So Okonkwo and his family get booted out of town for seven years. While he gone, a bunch of Bible thumping crackers roll up to Amorphia, trying to convert homies all over town. Soon they got a whole new government up in his piece. Damn! When Okonkwo gets back home, he all like, man, who are these honkies? So he and his tribal leader homies roll up to a church and stump that to the ground. This is our turf, suckers. After getting thrown in the slammer for a bit, Okonkwo rallies everybody to wage war against them imperialist fools. When one of them oppressors steps to, Okonkwo takes that fool out. But when he tries to get his posse to revolt against these haters like all good Omofians do, they all back down like a bunch of old bitches. Later, the top dog white man rolls up to Okonkwo's crib to take him downtown. But when he walk in, Okonkwo hanging by a noose. Fool took himself out for good. Damn. First thing you best recognize is that Lil Achebe came up in Nigeria after it was taken over by the West. Even though this book definitely got beef with the empire that did Igbo culture straight dirty, good art don't just give one perspective. See Okonkwo repping all the social values of the old Igbo society. He clocking mad courage, goes hard for the hood, and don't let no candy ass emotions get in his way. And for being the realest brother on the streets, the elders trust him to raise Akimafuna. But it ain't all gravy for Okonkwo. When time comes to kill Akimafuna, Okonkwo knows being the one to shank his boy gonna piss off the goddess real bad. But he ain't no lazy coward like his daddy and fool desperate to prove it. After Akimafuna dead, it's just one tragedy after another till Okonkwo offs himself. Even his main man Obira could tell him that was a messed up thing to do. If I were you, I would have stayed at home. What you have done will not please the earth. It is the kind of action for which the goddess wipes out whole families. Ain't no doubt that those crooked ass imperialists took a big old dump on Africa. But like we can see with Okonkwo icing his boy and disrespecting the goddess, maybe things started falling apart before they got there. Just like Yates preaching in the poem that opens the book, whether it be Igbo culture, Western culture, or whatever the f time is the enemy. And as time goes on, any culture can fall apart. But you know what don't fall apart? These sick ass threads you can get from my stove. See y'all next week, Playboy.